Today on Two Crazy Kitas, we're gonna review a brand new flavor of Lolly's Cookie Clusters. And we begin a delicious new day right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to review a brand new flavor of Lolly's Cookie Clusters. Now we have tried Lolly's before and uh, they're amazing. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Lolly, 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 got some adverbs here. Come on down to Lolly's, get the adverbs here. Okay, it's out of my system. We can roll on. I just have to. So if you didn't see that video, I'm going to leave a link for that right over Rachel's head. But Lolly's has been around for a little while, and we only recently tried them, and we were kind of like... What have we been doing with our life? What have we been doing that we haven't tried them? So uh, they actually sent us their brand new flavor. We did not pay for this package. They sent it to us. So we are going to do a review on it. Now, if you are interested in lollies, uh, we do have a coupon code down below. It's two crazy ketos along with a link and that will get you 10% off. It's so delicious food and money off. Now, the other flavors that we happen to just pull out just for the picture, but that we really like is the cinnamon pecan. Really, really good flavor. Yep. And so far, our favorite is the peanut, peanut butter, butter macadamia. macadamia. But I'm really hopeful for lemon. We are lemon fans. Yes. I like lemon in my water. I like lemon mug cakes. And so when they said they were doing like this lemon breakfasty kind of granola stuff, I'm like, yes. Yeah, so this is the lemon drop flavor. Now I do want to say the way we do our reviews, if you're new to our channel, is we're going to taste it. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put it through what's called our five things review, where we go over the ingredients and the nutrition label and how does it taste and how much does it cost. First thing we do is try it. But I do want to say, if you purchase lollies, I like to give everybody a warning. Everything is made to order. So when you place your order, it does take seven to 14 days to get it because she's going to make it when you order it and then ship it out priority mail. Which is kind of awesome. So it's it's no preservative, so it's super fresh. When you get it, I highly advise sticking it in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And it actually does say, like I believe, on the bag. If not on the bag, it says it on the, uh, like when you get your shipment, to stick it in the refrigerator. So this is the lemon drop flavor. It says enjoy as a topping or granola. Use it as cookies or to make a pie crust. And you can use it for all of it. I just like it as a cookie, a we, crumbled up cookie. I like it as a cookie, but I also like it as like a topping on top of your sweet potato casserole, yep. that sort of thing. It really just elevated the cinnamon our Thanksgiving. Does it smell like lemon cookie? Um, uh, yes. That smells amazing. Lemon cookie. That's exactly what it smells like. Okay, so this is what inside the bag looks like. If you can, and uh, you get a decent amount in there. If we can get it to focus, there we go. You get a lot in here, and they call it a cluster because you're gonna get it like this, and all you're gonna do is break off pieces of this, and that's how you're gonna eat it. But there is a decent amount in here. So a serving size of this is 28 grams. We actually have our scale here. We want to show you guys what a serving looks like. If it'll turn on. Turn on. There we go. This is a, a finicky scale. It is. Okay. Ready? So it's on grams. So this big piece, just to give you an idea, that's 49 grams. So it's a little bit over a serving. There we go. That's 27 grams. So this would be about a serving. And again, we'll show it to you there. Look at that. You can see all those pieces in there. You ready? Yes. Yum. I wish I had coffee. I got some tea. Mmm. Wow. Wow. You gotta like lemon. It is lemon. As wow. soon as it hits your tongue, lemon. There's no question. 
Lemon. But it's got a nice dessert taste to it. Not like lemon where it's t like so tart, it's uncomfortable. It's like the lemon in a lemon meringue pie, right? Mm. I mean, it's not the texture, obviously, of a lemon meringue pie, but it's got the flavor of a lemon meringue pie. This is morning. This is, this tastes like good morning to me. Oh, I'm sad that's gone. <laughs> I shouldn't have eaten it so quickly. I'm trying to savor it because I figured in the past, I've woofed down my serving and then totally regretted it. So, pacing myself today. That might be my new favorite flavor. That is That might be delicious. my new flavor flavor. Okay, let's put this through five things. Put that five things. Five things. I'm so, if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Mm -hmm. So number one, the ingredients. So the ingredients in this are almonds, almond flour, erythritol and stevia blend, pure olive oil, lemon zest, butter, which is sweet cream, salt, and annatto color, and eggs. It's all in there. It is super clean ingredients. I mean, honestly, it's one of the cleanest products that we've had in a long time. And I think, aside from the erythritol, which I don't honestly have a cooling effect, but everything else, I feel like you can see it. Yeah, I mean, they have the perfect blend of the erythritol and stevia, so you don't get the bitterness of the stevia or the cooling effect of the erythritol. But you can even see the zest. But again, take a look at that. You can literally see every single ingredient in there. You can see the lemon zest, you can see the almonds. I mean, just super clean ingredients. Yeah. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? Man, I hope so. So yeah, this is one of the things, a lot of times when something tastes this good, we're like, yeah, now what is that gonna mean? So so a serving size on this is 28 grams. I mean, and you saw it. Respectable amount. It's a respectable amount. It's a nice size serving and it is very filling, mm -hmm. especially if you're gonna use it like on top of your, you know, cottage cheese or with your yogurt yeah, or something like that. Definitely. So a serving size, like I said, is 28 grams. There are eight servings in this bag. 167 calories per serving, 15 grams of fat, uh, five grams of protein. That's nice. Now here's what I like, five total carbs. Wow. Total carbs. So when you think about a keto snack, especially something made with almond flour, made with almonds. A desserty kind of thing. Made with erythritol, which means there's not even a lot of erythritol in there. Five total carbs in a serving. So even if you are a total carb protocol person, you can have some of this as an occasional treat and know you're not gonna knock yourself out. Which is nice. Okay, now it gets even better because if you're a net carb person, there are three grams of dietary fiber in a serving. Wow, so two net so carbs. So it brings you down to two net carbs and it shows you how little of erythritol because she's not even listing sugar alcohols to take out. Oh, that wow. means that there's not even a lot of erythritol in there. Wow. Because that would be less than a gram per serving. So it, there probably is even less than two net carbs. Well, I could probably tell you, yeah, that's true because I'm very sensitive to the to cooling the effect. effect. Yeah. So yeah, so it absolutely, keto's based on a nutritional label. Low Yay. in carbs, high in fat, moderate protein. Absolutely perfect. Thank goodness. So number three, how does it taste? Terrible, obviously. <laughs> no, it's really good. It uh, is really good. If you're a lemon fan, yes. you're going to love lemon drop. If you are not a lemon fan though, and you don't like lemon zest, and you don't like fresh lemons, yeah. you're not gonna like this. Yeah. This is a natural lemon taste. This isn't something that's sugared up to taste like what a candied lemon should be. This is lemon. I can like tell actual you, lemon. obviously we're not in her kitchen, mm -hmm. but I can tell you almost cer for certain, she is not using dried lemon zest. No. It is, it's got too fresh of a lemon taste to be using dried lemon zest. Yeah. So I have, I have a really good suspicion she's using fresh lemon zest. Because yeah. if you like, like I said, if you like lemon meringue pie, you're gonna like this. Mm -hmm. If you like lemon poppy seed muffins, you're going to like this. If you don't like lemon, like Rachel said, you're not gonna like this. Get one of these flavors. Yeah. And I mean, even these flavors, three on this one is the peanut butter macadamia, three total carbs. Unbelievable. Two net carbs, three total carbs. This one is actually higher in the total carbs, probably because of the lemon. But I want this because to me, this is very breakfasty. Yeah. And I like this kind of treat with my breakfast. Yeah. 
And again, even in the cinnamon pecan flavor, just in case you're curious, four total carbs, three grams of fiber, one net carb per serving. And it's so fresh and delicious. Yeah. So number four, how much does it cost? Now this is where we get into things with keto products. Okay. Honestly, I don't think it's so bad. It's $15 a bag. Okay. Okay. So now there's eight servings in a bag. So you're looking at $2 a serving. About $2 a serving. Again, we do have a coupon code. It's two crazy ketos. That will get you another 10% off. But this is very fancy pants. I mean, it is delicious. This is something that I would get you for Valentine's Day mm -hmm. even, right? I mean, it's just so tasty and awesome. This is, and it comes beautifully packaged. Right. This is a nice gift. And you're supporting a small business. I mean, it's a very small company doing it. And again, she's making it fresh to order. You know, people do talk about cost of keto products. And I almost hate bringing up cost in our reviews, but we do, you it is a part of it. But just remember, there's no preservatives in here, which means they can't make something and stick it on the shelf. They're not adding maltodextrin and all those things that help cut the cost for the products you see when you go into the grocery store. So that does elevate the cost. You're also using almonds, you're using almond flour, Real. macadamia nuts, all of that stuff, the ingredients that make these things are higher end. So. Yeah, but you're gonna enjoy it. And this is definitely something that if you have somebody in your life that's like, I couldn't possibly eat keto desserts, I don't like it, they're gonna love this. Yeah. I mean, it is really, really tasty. And what I like about it is there's, again, so many different uses. We're getting into the recommend, so let's talk about that. So number five, would we recommend it? Yeah. And yeah, like we were just saying. Great for kids. It is It is just an awesome all-around snack. You can use it as granola. I honestly, aside from just putting it on my cottage cheese, I like to just sometimes go out. I just, I don't even take a whole serving. I don't even weigh it out normally. I kind of know. I just break off a little piece and then that becomes my dessert. And I know my dessert is low in calories because 167 is, is not very low, high calorie. High in fat moderate protein. I'm not overdoing my carbs as a little treat. I like my bars, but those bars can be 12, 13, 14, 17 total carbs. Yeah. To know that I'm only getting three, four, five total carbs, it's just a great little cookie treat. It really is. So, so we would absolutely recommend it. Now, I will say this, right now, the lemon drop is kind of limited. So if you are interested, use the link down below and get it now because again, she makes everything to order. So I don't know how much it is, but right now it does say like it's available in limited quantities. We take that very seriously. <laughs> yeah, we, I will definitely be ordering some of this. Yeah. So uh, do us a favor, let us know down below if you have tried Lolly's Cookie Clusters and if you have, what is your favorite flavor that you've tried so far? And what do you use it for? Do you eat it on its own? Do you top things with it? Do you top casseroles with it? We may even be making a pie crust with some of this, or at least incorporating it with our pie crust. This is the one to do it with. Yeah. Because imagine a lemon meringue pie. With this is the crust. Yeah. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.